Some adventures are for the sole purpose of photography, and other adventures are for more of a sole purpose, you know? And I found myself in need of one of those sole purpose trips, where I needed to go and find the sun, spend some time in the sun, get some of that vitamin D on my skin, and just feel it. Little insider travel tip. If you're planning to come to the Southern California coast in May or June, you might want to reschedule. You might not get a lot of sun while you're here. <laughs> so with the main goal of heading east to find the sun, I grabbed the travel partner, I grabbed my camera, and headed out. And while photography wasn't the main purpose of this trip, I did think it would be a great opportunity to remind myself and you of a few tips on shooting in the bright midday sun. Let's look at a couple photos. Tip number one, and an obvious one, is to not shoot directly into the sun. Turn around, shoot the direction the sun is shining. In this case, I liked how this little pool of light was gathering on this little foreground of flowers here. Tip number two is to potentially underexpose your photograph when you're shooting out there so you can pull back some of those highlights in post. That way you're not gonna blow out your sky to be an all white sky. You'll be able to bring some of that blue back, which is super important on a really bright day. Which brings me into tip number three is to watch for harsh shadows. Look at this picture, here's the original really really harsh and then here's the processed version i love this tree because it looks like he's got his arms up and he's praising the sun gods kind of like what i felt like <laughs> this tree and i had a nice little bonding experience just basking in the sun that day and also take advantage of the color that the sun provides if there's a little patch of wildflowers or some green the sun is really going to pull out those colors so take advantage of that a super important tip is to watch out for snakes if you're in the American Southwest, they're out there. This is a diamondback rattlesnake, I believe, which was completely stretched out along the trail in front of us. Luckily, it saw us coming and scurried into the grass really quick so there was no encounter. Reminder to not go off the trails because these guys are just sitting out there in the grass. And if we go into their world, we might have a problem. If we stay in our world along the trail, we're most likely gonna be okay. They don't want anything to do with us. He ran away and uh, not didn't run. He has no legs but he slithered back into the grass and we had a clear path the rest of the way. And finally, just a reminder, like I wished I had brought a longer lens with me. I had my 24 to 70, but I wish I brought my 70 to 200 or even a 400 or 600 if you have one, because then you can really focus in on some details on a photograph and you don't necessarily have to shoot this big wide vista with the sky. You can find details that don't include the sky and shoot there. Like here, I wished I would have had my long lens so I could focus on this area, the photograph back here. Might have been a really cool composition, but I didn't have my long lens, so I settled for this wider vista. As far as your camera settings go, keep your ISO down at about 100. You can keep your aperture your f-stop around, around you know, f9 to f11. You can probably even stop down further than that if you'd like. Shutter speed, you have plenty of light on days like this, so, so don't be afraid to really speed that shutter speed up. On a day like that, you have the flexibility to go as fast as you want. So quick reminders, don't shoot into the sun. You can underexpose your photographs so you don't blow out any highlights. Be aware of harsh shadows in your composition. Bring a long lens and shoot details and avoid shooting the sky. Finally, watch for snakes. And of course, don't use adventures just as a way to escape life. Use adventures as a way to make sure life doesn't escape you. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more adventures to come. I would love to have you there.